Okay, hi everyone. This is the AutoCAD 2020 uh, basic drawing um, quick tutorial. So this, this should be nice and quick. So here we are. Um, so here is a basic part. So this is just a basic kind of part, which is probably be spec for an engineering mill. Um, all dimensions here are in inches. So this is all in, in, in inches. So if you work in metric, you'd have to convert it. However, for simple um, kind of simple size is I'm just going to make this um, centimeters. So this would be one centimeter. So this would be one centimeter, thirty cent. One centimeter, three centimeters, half a centimeter. Okay, or you could turn it into sort of ten mil, twenty mil, thirty mil, however you want to use it. So let's load up. Or have AutoCAD. I'm already in my drawing. Okay, I've already set it up. Checking the units. Okay, so I've gone into the units. I'm happy with it. it's in millimeters for the precision. So I'm going to accept that. So first off to do is we need to go to our layers. So currently I have no layers on this drawing. So I'm going to enter in my layers. I'm going to call this my drawing layer. Okay, which will be white, continuous, and a default. I have a construction layer. Okay, I'm going to have this as red. And continuous line. I'm going to have a center line. Okay, I'm going to have that as yellow and change that line type to a center. So I'm going to load them in center standard and load it into the database. Now I have a hidden. So that's my hidden lines. Again, that's going to have a different line type. So I'm going to go into line type, find hidden. Hidden there, just a standard. I'm going to change that to a gray. And last one is I'm going to have my dims for my dimension. And I'm going to have that as a green. And just going to change the line type back to continuous. So I'm going to draw in my construction layer now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick starting off the base. So I'm just going to do a quick rectangle from 0, 0 to 420,297 just to draw in the A3 limits down here which is the maximum size I can fit on this page and obviously half double the size I can fit on an A4 so it's just going to show me where I can and can't draw. So I'm just going to start with a line okay I'm going to draw a line lock it to 90 degrees by holding down shift Escape, space, and another line the other way, holding down shift to lock it to 90 degrees. So now I need to select what plane I'm doing first. So the idea here is up this section here will be my top view, here on the front, and over here will be a auxiliary free view or my right hand view. So this will be my top view, this will be my front view, and this will be my auxiliary or my right view under third angle projection. So the whole part here is 30 mil down. So I'm going to do an offset on this line of 30 millimeters, like so. Coming across, so we have 10 mil, 20, and then another 20. So that makes 50 mil in total. So I'm going to offset again 50 mil from here to here. Now also I'm going to in put the 10 mil and the 20 mil in for the other features. So back into space, change that to 10. Exit space 20 for the offset now. And that'll be 20 from there to there. Let's just check. So I can't see the line, which means that's also 20, which is good. So that's my outer shape. Now if I change my layer back to drawing. On the line, I can go around now and fill in the gaps for what my shape will look like. So that is the outer side of my shape. Now there is a circle here which is 10 mil from this right hand edge and 15 mil up. So I'm going to insert some construction lines for that. So offset. It's 15 mil up, which is in the center, and 10 from the right, 
which will also be in the centre, which gives me my cross hatch there. Now it doesn't actually tell me what the circle is, which is helpful. So what I'm going to do is do a diameter on the drop down for circle, come in the middle, and I reckon a let's do a 12 mil diameter, like so. That's my first view now. That is now my top view of that isometric shape. So another offset, I'm just going to do a gap again of 50 mil, just to space it quite nicely. Now I'm going to draw the front view. Okay, this is a thickness of 10 mil. So let's do a escape and offset of 10 mil. Okay, 5 mil is the drop down, so we need to do escape space and do 5 mil. Okay, and now I can again come in under the drawing layer, under a new line, and draw my shape. So up, down, all the way along, up, back. Okay, so we now have a 12 mil diameter. So now we're going to do offset again, and it'd be six mil from either side of our line. This time under the hidden, come along and draw our hidden lines like so. So now when I turn off my construction line, I can see there's a hidden circle there on my shape. So last one again, just keeping it all nice and even. I'm going to do another 50 mil offset from this side this time. This time I'm, it's going to be 30 mil. Okay, change the drawing layer. Like so. Now we'll be able to see the circle coming through and a step down. So what we need to do now is change the hidden. A line through the center like so and then we need to put the circle in so 15 for the center 6 mil for the find both edges so space and then escape space to then fire the command back in I'm going to turn off my construction layer, turn back on my hidden layer, it's turned off by mistake. Okay, and there is my very, very quick third angle drawing. Go into landscape, double click into the model. I can move it around and I need to set my scale. So I'm going to set this as four times the size, pan it in place, slightly too big. I'm going to do twice the scale then. It's still slightly too big, one to one scale, fits in. Okay, ideally then it should be one and a half scale, so I'm going to do a custom scale now, add a new scale, be 1.5 to 1, 1 1.5. Choose my 1.5, which fits in slightly nicer. Obviously if my title block I could take off the top row, put it down here, give me a bit, bit more space rather than trying to cram it in. Okay, my portrait, I'm going to do the same again, a bit more usable space on this one, because it's a bit more rectangle fine, and a one-to-one -one scale, into the model, onto my dimensions, let's do some dimensions, so I need to go there to there, it's 30, that one to that one, we know it's 10, Onto that one we know as 20, and again that one to that one we also know as 20. Could do for ease, just put a 50 in. Okay, I don't want to overstretch my model, so I'm going off of this reference. I haven't clicked, I'm just hovering, moving along. 
up as five. And again, because you want to have all drawings referenced in something. Okay, you should always only state each drawing once. So you need to put the center of my there to the center. That's ten. And then we can go from the center line there. And that's fifteen. So hopefully nothing's crossing our border, which makes it slightly nicer. So now we're going to go into our landscape. Okay, we've picked up everything there. Obviously we go in. So we'll call that BL01. Date of issue today, everything else is fine. Into my portrait one. Okay, one to one scale. Give it in place. So I'll click now, change my title block. I'm just going to put it again as me. Projection, well, I've drawn that in third angle. The scale on this one is one to one. Document, it's just a sketch. I'm going to say it's live title. Um, let's call it test block example. Today's date is the 3rd. Okay, I just need to change the test the example. The scale on this one was 1.5 to 1. Okay, now I'm happy, so now I can export my plots. I'm going to do a single sheet because I can check it a lot easier. It's a PDF. I'm going to do the window. Click. Click. Preview. Don't think it's quite centered, so let's just go back. Center the plot. Preview. I can save that one. Happy with that. I'm going to save. And then my. A4 portrait, I'm just going to do the same. Do single sheet so I can check it. PDF, A4 portrait, and let's do a window. This time it's going to do it backwards. Click, click, center, preview. Everything's looking nice, and then plot. Save the same. That's now there. That's now there. Nice looking example. Very, very quick sketch. Just showing you how to quickly do a model, convert it into your paper space, and do a quick print. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe and check out my other videos.